This is their target, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at 10 of the deadliest assassin organizations in history. European-born and fluent in German, some soldiers of the brigade became spies who worked behind enemy lines. For this list, we're looking at some of the most notorious organizations of killers throughout history. Which of these do you find the most intimidating? Let us know in the comments. Werwolf. In the later part of World War II, the Nazis recruited a force of commandos known as Werwolf or Operation Werwolf. It's estimated that up to 5,000 werewolves eventually enlisted. They consisted largely of discharged older soldiers. Although widely believed to be a guerrilla force meant to operate in Germany itself, Werwolf's original purpose was to operate behind enemy lines as the Allies advanced on Germany to create confusion. And then we would be able to stop them by killing them, creating confusion, cutting off their supplies, shooting them in the cover of night. However, Werwolf was later rebranded to use guerrilla tactics at home, despite being under-equipped and scattered. While pinning down exact actions committed by them is difficult, because fact and propaganda are often intertwined, many deaths of both Allied forces and collaborators within Germany have been attributed to Werwolf. However, the propaganda worked too well, leading to Allied reprisals against supposed Werwolf agents. The murderous reprisals by Nazi guerrillas proved to be only the first indication of the violent final days of the Third Reich. Vishakanya. India took its concept of femme fatales quite literally. The Vishakanya, or Poison Girls, were a semi-mythical order of female assassins from ancient India. First mentioned in the Ardhashastra, a treatise on statecraft from the 3rd century BCE, the Vishakanya were reportedly young women who were raised on a steady diet of poisons, thereby rendering them immune to them and making their bodies poisonous to touch or through their own bodily fluids. Given that the archetype became a fixture of Indian literature, finding facts among the fictions can be tricky. However, it's clear that at some point in history, the Vishakanya were employed to kill powerful figures in India's distant past. The Sacred Band of Thebes Ancient Greece had many legendary military units, but one group whose aim was arguably assassination was the Sacred Band of Thebes. The Sacred Band of Thebes! Thebes. Ah! Composed entirely of pairs of male lovers, the Sacred Band of Thebes' main goals during battle were to seek out and kill the strongest enemy units, as well as their leadership. Tonight we dine in hell! Their deadly modus operandi was enough to turn the tide of battle when the Thebans faced overwhelming odds against the Spartans, multiple times, at the battles of Leuctra and Tegira. However, the Sacred Band met its end in battle against Philip II of Macedon, as well as his great son Alexander, fighting to the last man. Instead of pitting his fiercest fighters against the weakest opponents, Epaminondas flipped the script and attacked the strongest point of the enemy lines first. Nakam. Following the Holocaust, many survivors were understandably eager for revenge. A group of Jewish partisans, led by Abba Kovner, aimed to get an eye for an eye for what their people suffered. Even with the war over, some Jewish fighters decided to press on, forming their own group to hunt down fugitive Nazi war criminals. They were known as Nokmin, the Avengers. Although Nakam, or Revenge, is known to have executed many vengeful killings, the exact figures range anywhere from 300 to 3,000. However, two of their more ambitious plots failed. One plot, known as Plan A, was to poison millions of Germans, beginning at Nuremberg, by poisoning the water supply. On April 13, 1946, Easter Sunday in an American POW camp in Nuremberg, Germany, hundreds of SS soldiers were mysteriously poisoned. However, after Kovner was arrested for unrelated charges, this fell through. Plan B, the killing of SS prisoners of war was attempted too, but while thousands became ill, Plan B seemingly claimed no lives either. A year after the war ended, nearly 800 Nazis were eliminated. Shinobi, aka Ninja. Perhaps the most romanticized assassins on this list, Shinobi, better known as Ninja in the West, have taken on a mythological mystique. Following the principles of warfare, the ninja set out to find the warlord's weak spot. While covert agents have been used throughout the history of Japan, ninja were most active between the 15th and 17th centuries. 
although generally employed as mercenaries to carry out surveillance, assassinations, and sabotage, several ninja organizations existed, mostly families or clans of trained shinobi. From a skilled master, a son or daughter learns the secrets of the ninja. While the exact record of how many ninja victims there have been is tough to determine, their attempts on the lives of major leaders like Oda Nobunaga and their employment during the Christian Shimabara Rebellion are well documented. It's believed that ninja were eventually recruited into Japan's modern clandestine organizations. Or maybe that's what they want us to think. Some founded schools of ninjutsu and taught the martial arts. Some became bodyguards. A few became bandits. Sakari, one of the earliest known organized assassination groups. The Sakari were a splinter group of Jewish zealots from the first century CE. The Sakari are one of the only guerrilla groups never to bow to the might of the Roman Empire. In response to the Roman occupation of Judea, the Sakari would carry out organized clandestine attacks on Romans and their sympathizers among the local populace. Their name is derived from their choice of weapons, CK, or small daggers. The Sakari used their signature weapons to blend into crowds more easily after killing their targets in broad daylight. They would go in broad daylight, they go to the market. They also participated in more open acts of rebellion in cities like Masada and Jerusalem, and committed several atrocities against people of all religions. Although it inspired copycats and the Spanish term for hitman Sicario, the original organization met its end during this rebellion. Late one night, Huddled groups of Sakari and their families hear the Romans battering at the fortress walls. Murder Incorporated. The American Mafia has no shortage of wild stories, and one of them includes Murder Incorporated. What he needs is a force that will police the Mafia. So Luciano also creates a body that will kill on behalf of the Commission. It will become known as Murder Incorporated. A contract killing organization established by the Mafia Alliance known as the National Crime Syndicate out of New York. Murder Incorporated employed assassins on retainer as enforcers, though they received large payouts for specific hits. Active from 1929 to 1941, Murder Incorporated executed somewhere between 400 and 1,000 contract killings. The organization eventually met its end, though, after one of its members, Abe Kid Twist Relis, became a witness to avoid prosecution. Reles knows everything that Murder Incorporated has done. Although Reles perished in an unfortunate accident falling out of a window, silencing him did nothing to prevent Murder Incorporated's collapse. So with Luciano behind bars, the commission disbands Murder Incorporated and relegates Anastasia to a lowly underboss position. 47 Ronin. They were the elite, the special forces of medieval Japan ruled by an ancient code. Most of these organizations have broad targets, but the 47 Ronin had just one. Former retainers of Asano Naganori, these masterless samurai sought to avenge their master after he was forced to commit seppuku after assaulting Kira Yoshinaka, a court official who provoked him. Just six hours after his fateful attack on Kira, Asano is facing the traditional end of the samurai warrior. After supposedly disbanding and taking up other professions, the 47 Ronin gathered and assaulted Yoshinaka's residence, killing over a dozen guards and wounding more. They ultimately killed Yoshinaka after he refused to commit seppuku himself. All but one of the Ronin chose to undergo the ritual death themselves after avenging their lord. Tales of the 47 Ronin have remained popular in Japan, to the point where they even have their own subgenre, called Shushingura. Today, Lord Oishi and his followers are still celebrated as symbols of ultimate loyalty and are honored as heroes in Japan. The Black Hand, aka Unification or Death. Arguably the most famous organization of assassins in the 20th century, the Black Hand, also known as Unification or Death, was a Serbian not-so-secret society. This is the Black Hand Gang. Their primary goal was the unification of all ethnic Serb territories, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, which were annexed by Austria-Hungary. While the group's members directly carried out the assassinations of Serbia's royal couple in 1903 in the May coup, they're perhaps most known for providing supplies and facilitating the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand in 1914. Given that this sparked World War I, the Black Hand could be indirectly considered the most deadly assassin group in history. Just a single bullet on the 28th of June 1914 ushered in an age of conflict on a scale unprecedented in history. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The Order of Assassins The word assassin comes from somewhere, and it's here. The Order of Assassins, or just the Assassins, were a state of Nizari Ismaili, a sect of Shia Islam from the 11th to 13th centuries CE. Spread throughout the mountains of Persia and later Syria, the Assassins fought mostly to protect themselves. The Assassins didn't create a culture of political violence. They were created by it. However, due to their lack of manpower, they mostly targeted the leaders of their enemies instead of waging open warfare, though they also sometimes took on contract killings. In this way, over their centuries of existence, the Assassins killed hundreds, with religious leaders of various faiths being their biggest targets. Although the Mongols ultimately put an end to the Assassins as a group, their name lives on in infamy. But the advent of the Mongols also spelled the demise of the Assassins. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.